All right, what's this Wednesday now? Let's see. Uh, we had a, a clue just a little while ago. Do mm -hmm. you, does anyone need the clue, Frank? I have no clue what it is, so it's Bro, not going to Oh, no, here. really? No. Oh, I thought you were deeking me over here. No, like he, I have no was, idea. He always walks around and he comes up to the monitor. No. Like this and he looks <laughs> like not, a, not any idea at all. <laughs> all right, so if you're playing at home, uh, here is a clue. For those really into boxing, you should get this one. Of course, Lori immediately has her hand <laughs> up over there. <laughs> Bubble wrap. Uh, get it? Boxing. Boxing like you uh, box stuff up. Yeah. And you use bubble wrap. <laughs> Outstanding. Lord, very Thank good. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. That is. Uh, I, thought, I thought that was pretty good. I heard that, was good. Good. that was good. I was thinking, I wasn't thinking of that boxing. Yes. I was thinking like ring, gloves. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. and I, that was kind yeah. of tricky. I was trying yeah. to kind of tricky. Off. Had the production crew in my ear immediately saying, too easy, too easy. Too easy. <laughs> well, apparently not when you're 66. It's not very easy. And you two will get there one day. Oh. So. No, I, I enjoy playing the game with you, Frank. Oh, I think it's gosh, no. That was very good. I'm impressed with y'all. Ah, Dublin a little bit younger than Frank at 61 right now. <laughs> We're looking at uh, mid-50s to start today, tomorrow. What's this? I like it. There's a look at the numbers. We have a lot of 60s on the board. And as we head toward tomorrow morning, as I mentioned, we should be somewhere in the mid 50s. So a cooler start than what we've had and a little cooler than the average of around 62 or so. OK, a lot of stuff to cover. And we know we have the cloud cover out there that's been for two days. And today we got it out of the way. We got some sunshine. We've had a little bit of that off and on as we've been going through tonight. So we call it partly cloudy. All right, so we have the state map. I kind of slid it over a little bit because I want you to watch what happens here for the next couple of days. But keep an eye out in the Atlantic here as well because that could be an impact player as we go on into the weekend. There's tomorrow. Looking good for us. Partly cloudy stuff as we go forward into Friday. Uh, this is starting to take shape. Still showing great stuff. A little northeasterly breeze. Now, this is an area of low pressure out in the Atlantic off the coast of Georgia and the Carolinas. National Hurricane Center, obviously, uh, looking into it next week officially begins hurricane season, but uh, they're not looking for necessarily even in their words necessarily that it would become something tropical, but because of you know rip currents and wind and Memorial Day weekend and a lot of folks along the coast here. If you are heading in any of the directions here, uh, just something to keep an eye on as we go at least into the beginning of the weekend. We'll see how long it takes to move on out. All right, so this takes us into Saturday afternoon. The if you want to call it center of circulation would probably be coming up more into the Carolinas. But there could be some little banding of rain that kind of whips over this way. Uh, not only that, but a wedge front situation coming in that's going to be bringing cooler stuff in as well as the cool air being wrapped around on this side of the storm. So it could make for cooler weather whether we see rain or not. There's a look at Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. Most of it going up like this, just grazing by. The farther east and northeast you are, the better your chance. But then we may still have an off and on shower even as we get into Sunday afternoon, Sunday night and then maybe hit or miss stuff as we go into Memorial Day. But still, we have some time to figure this out. I want to show you something pretty wild here on the temperature map in a second. 50s in the morning. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, we'll call it upper 70s. And then as we head into Friday morning, we're looking at somewhere in the low 60s. Friday afternoon, coming up into the upper 70s. Now, watch as this thing starts to spin here as we get into Saturday morning, what it does to the daytime highs. This is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. This is why I was talking about any little movement to the west here drastically changes our temperature. We could be in the 70s if this bumps over just a little bit. We're in the 60s, maybe even in the 50s in some of our eastern northeastern counties. So a forecasting headache for sure. Right now we have it at a 20% chance of rain and the numbers are lower. And we will try to figure this out as we get a little closer. Marv, you weren't in the studio.